Hi, I've got some brown spots out in the lawn I'd like to fix up, but hey, I'm an English major, so what do I know about the science of grass? These as seen on TV folks though, they say, trust me, I'm a doctor. I was at the local drugstore looking at the as seen on TV section. They even got Bob Villa saying, hey, this is great stuff. So how much of an endorsement that is, I don't know, but I like him. I would like to think if he's recommending it, it's good stuff. Um, this grass is supposedly specially scientifically engineered to grow roots deeper, to not grow so fast, to not grow so tall, so you don't need to mow it, fertilize it, or water it very often. Now as someone who hates mowing the lawn, this is a dream come true type of grass, but it makes me wonder, why isn't all grass like this? They, they claim this is um, golf course type grass, where you have that not too tall, very even, thick, luxurious, beautiful on the rolling hills kind of grass. Now my backyard looks more like Ma and Pa Kettle's family lives there. I don't expect that grass seed can change that, but how likely is it that this seed can actually fill in those brown patches? Let's see what's inside. So what's the name of this new specially engineered grass seed with all these great qualities? Well, what do we have in the bag? We have creeping red fescue, hard fescue, tall fescue, some bluegrass, some ryegrass. Well, I know all of those names. It seems like that grass has already been developed and it does have some good characteristics. For example, the fescue does tend to put down very long roots. But like all grasses, it has its downsides. All, of, all grasses are a trade-off between drought resistance and insect resistance and how they look and how thick they are, how tall they grow and so forth. So I don't see that newly engineered type of grass listed here as being in the bag. So Bob V and all, I'm a little dubious about this to start with, but I'll put a link to it down below this video if you'd like to check it out. I paid $20 for this three pound bag of seed. I think that's a little on the high side. I remember a few years ago getting some seed that specifically suited for our local area and it wasn't quite that expensive. When I look at where this seed comes from, I've got Canada, and Oregon and it's sold out of New Jersey so I don't know how well it's going to do in Central Texas. It's supposed to cover 750 square feet so that should be ample for what I need. Let's head to the backyard and spread this seed. Here's the patch I'm going to put it on. They do recommend raking first in the area to get rid of the leaves and any debris so that you can sprinkle the seed directly on the soil. Well the more I rake the more I realize my whole yard is like a bear patch but let's see what this can do anyway. Here's what the seed looks like. Pretty typical looking grass seed, and they do say if you're not going to use a spreader, which I suppose you should use for even distribution, to spread it out to about that amount on the surface. And then gently rake it to mix it in a little bit with the soil. Here is the seed spread over my bare patch. I am now going to rake it in gently and then do a little watering. seed has been gently raked in. Now time to do a light watering of this area. You do have to keep it moist for 30 days, which means daily watering for 30 days. It's about to start sprinkling here right now, so I'm going to take advantage of a little light rain coming our way. So it's watered in. We've got a little light rain on the way, which should be good. In about a week I'm expecting to see something. I'll do a quick follow-up at that point, but I really can't tell you whether I'd recommend this or not for about a month until I see how well it comes in and fills in. Well, it's been a month since I did the first seeding. Let me show you how it's doing. Here is the patch I've been working on, about eight feet by 10 feet. I seeded this a month ago. I did a reseeding in the bare spots that were still visible two weeks ago. So this is how it's filled in since then. Everything in this area has come in nice and lush and green with the daily watering, of course. So that includes some of the original grass that was here as well as various other plants. You can see how green it is compared to the rest of the yard, which I do not water. On a quick view, it does look green, but it's really not very thick. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna mow the lawn and then I will show it again and we'll see what it looks like with these weeds cut out. Well, after mowing, I have to say, it, it looks pretty good. Obviously there are a few patches a little bit bare still, but overall gives the appearance of being pretty green and luxurious. And again, anything watered daily for a month is going to look greener, but I have to say, it looks like the grass has done the first job of filling in the bare spot. Passes that test. 
and I will water it a few times a week for the next couple of weeks, but then that's it. It's on its own after that. It has to fend for itself like the rest of the grass. I don't water during the summer. It's 